Just like soldiers, military equipment travels many miles in order to complete each mission overseas. A 20-piece collection of Humvees, aircraft generators, and even a few forklifts are completing their tour and heading back to the States. The load-up process takes about 65 days and requires a lot of preparation in order to get the job done in a safe and secure way. It's been going on now for about two months because a lot of the paperwork had to be set in early uh, so that way they could review it, send stuff back if there was any issue. The soldiers work with locals in order to load the equipment on flatbeds that are taken to the Kuwaiti Naval Base. From there, the equipment is washed and loaded on a boat that will float back to American soil. Well, as the unit movement officer, I'm in charge of moving all of the unit's equipment from here back to the United States. About 40 Bravo Company 638 soldiers assisted with the move. Some drove vehicles and equipment, others ground guided, and a few participated in the convoy. We had our A-team out there when it came time to doing this movement to help minimize uh, any kind of injuries and maximize safety. Along with that excitement of getting ready to leave, you also get some complacency uh, that could um, you know, rear its ugly head. So you got to make sure that you still are on top of your tasks and doing everything to the highest standards possible, even up through the final day here working to make sure that the next unit comes in has the the best handoff that we can possibly give to them, and that everything we do is still uh, to the highest professional quality we can provide. It's pretty exciting knowing that okay, your job here is almost done, but. We're not done until we get on the plane and we land on in Hood. For the 244th Combat Aviation Brigade, this is Specialist Andrea Gump. 